Well, this is sort of like going behind the curtain in The Wizard of Oz where all the magic begins. The circus is coming to town and it's sort of the circus, right, Vanessa? Yes, it's Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil. And I saw the show last night and I gotta tell you, I felt like a little kid again because this particular show, and it's called? Barakai. Barakai is sort of like, it almost reminds me of old school circus on steroids because it's got all those great elements in it. Right, exactly. So it does have everything uh, that Cirque du Soleil is known for, which is the amazing acrobatics, the live music on stage, the out of this world costumes, and everything, how it mes meshes together so wonderfully. I like the way it blends in the humor right in the beginning because of circus and clowns, that goes right together. And this show sort of starts with the clown, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's made to take you on an emotional journey. Everything you see, uh, you know, you'll feel jubilant at some point, you'll feel excited, you'll feel astonished, shocked at what they're doing, and then you'll laugh because the clowns will really transport you. So it's, I think it's really that ability to be able to touch people emotionally, evoke some kind of emotion in them mm -hmm. that keeps them really interested in the, and why they love Cirque du Soleil so much. <laughs> And it's so magical, I, I gotta tell you folks, that there's a language, you're trying to understand the language, but then you do understand the language, but what is the language? It's a made-up language, and it's done really on purpose <laughs> to, to kind of create that dreamlike fantasy world that Cirque does for you, so, so the people can really extrapolate what they want from the show. So it's not necessarily dictating a specific thing that you need to feel or think, it's just allowing you to imagine yourself, so mm -hmm. that way you can pull whatever you want from the show, which might be different from my experience or somebody else's. That's why I think you can see the show several times. And this show has been around for a little while, hasn't it? Yes, so it toured the world under the big top uh, for 12 years, but just this past December got converted into an arena format. So this is what we're gonna be showing in Cleveland. So we're really excited. And uh, But this this show, this format, allows us to visit so many more markets yeah. that our big top couldn't. <laughs> but there's lots of new things that have changed, a lot of new artists as well, new costumes, so look out. It's definitely what I think a Cirque du Soleil masterpiece. Oh, I think so too. And you know, I've seen many of the shows like in Vegas, mm -hmm. you know, those big yes. productions in the casinos and mm -hmm. such. And uh, th this show here, I mean, you could have a, you bring your smallest child to this, or the oldest person in your family, and I think they each get the same thing out of it. It's a great piece of entertainment, but different in a way for each person. Exactly, I think, you know, Varakai has such a strong messaging in the show. You know, it's the story of Icarus and what happened to him after he flew too close to the sun, but of course, seen in Cirque du Soleil's eyes. And so he lands in this enchanted forest, meets all these amazing creatures that start off his new journey, his mm -hmm. new journey into life of rediscovery. But there's tons of metaphors, you know, like, what we hope to convey is you don't need your wings to fly. Or if you fall down, you can stand back up tall and walk away. So, you know, that's his journey of learning how to walk again, how to use his legs, and using all the people around him who love him to give him strength and support to lead him into his new journey. So, you know, for those that are looking for the deeper meaning, it's there, but or else, like you said, it's just great entertainment. Oh, and, and physically, to watch this show, you, you, you can hardly believe the human body can do the things. Uh, you know, you hear this beautiful music, and then you think about how many people it takes to run this show. I mean, Outside, there's 18 big trucks out there. You right. got about 100 washing machines. You got people all <laughs> over the place. How many people travel with the show? We're 95 that travel together. So 50 of those are performers, and it almost takes as much as the performers to make sure that the show goes on every single night. So you know, all the technicians, all the office staff, yeah. uh, the person takes care of immigration to get all these 18 different nationalities work permits. So yeah, yeah it's a big operation. Home base is Quebec, Canada, mm -hmm. and uh, Montreal, Montreal, right? Montreal, yes. In Montreal, and just uh, taking over the world. Well, I don't know about that, but <laughs> we hope to spread a little bit of the magic all over the world. It is magic. Thank you, Vanessa. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.